Today we're going to talk about routes in Hexagon EAM. Pieces of equipment that are serviced together often follow a particular route. So let's walk through a scenario together. We set up a route for our HVAC equipment located on 4-1. If I navigate to the Equipment tab, you will see that we have four pieces of equipment listed. And you'll notice that the sequence is listed for each piece because that's the order in which the equipment are listed on the floor. So where can we use routes? One option would be to associate a route to our PM schedule. Here we have a PM schedule for our HVAC semi-annual preventive maintenance. On the Equipment tab of the PM Schedule screen, you can define a route. So in this example, we are going to service each HVAC in our guest rooms of our hotel. So rather than list each HVAC individually, as you see listed here, we can consolidate this and actually generate one PM work order for all four HVACs. Now, since we do have a task plan associated with this PM schedule, one thing to know is there is an equipment level defined for each checklist item on your task plan. By default, the equipment level is header equipment. In this case, if I wanted to duplicate the checklist item for each piece of equipment in my route, I would simply just go in and switch the equipment level to route and equipment. So let's take a look at our work order. Here we have a work order that's been completed for our route. You'll notice if I go to the checklist tab of the work order that my checklist items have been duplicated for each equipment. So we have our HVAC 01, 02, 03, and 04. The order that the checklist items are listed is just dependent right now due to my data spy settings. Keep that in mind because you will have control as to how this information is going to be represented on the work order. Additionally, it is important to know that there are a handful of install parameters and org options that apply to routes and multi-equipment work orders. Now on this work order, I did book labor. And you'll see that I actually booked two hours total. But since I have multiple pieces of equipment, it broke the time and divided it so it was equal amongst each piece of equipment. The same is true for parts. In this case, I did issue filters to this work order. So I used four, one for each asset. So depending on the install parameters and org options, I have my environment set up where even though I wrote this work order against my header piece of equipment, which are the guest rooms, if I were to look at an individual asset, meaning one of those HVACs, you will see that we are associating the cost to the individual assets. So over time, I'll be able to see that, yes, this was a multi-equipment work order, but since it took a half hour for the technician to service this HVAC, I have that labor cost 
And then I have the material cost for the air filters. So this is intended to serve as a quick introduction to how you can use routes in Hexagon EAM, and we hope you find it helpful.